everyone, today I'm going to show you my bracelet collection. So there are a lot of bracelets in here. Some of them, majority of them are friendship bracelets like this one, but some of them are not. Like I have this cool thing I made. It's like a necklace with a key attached to it. And I also have some paracord things that I made. Here's one. And there are also, I made some bracelets out of the soda tabs from tin cans. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I've made so far that I haven't sold yet. Alright, so I have quite a few bracelets here, quite a few bracelets and quite a few bracelet categories, so I'm going to do my best and show all of these to you. So here we go. I got a couple colors of paracord online and I just wanted to experiment with them, so I just started making these cool things and I also have a lot of these buckles. Um, I also made the Eternity Knot bracelet, which I currently don't have in stock, but it's very pretty. And there's also this trilobite bracelet, which is like this this uh, bracelet, but instead of having two segments, it has one, two, three. And it has this really cool thing down the middle, and honestly, it's really cool. So, those are my paracord bracelets. Okay, so here we have bracelets that I've made, and these bracelets I actually made, I made one of them as part of my time-lapse video. Um, it was really fun. I don't know where the actual one that I made for the time-lapse video is. Maybe I haven't finished it yet, and that's why it's not here. These are really pretty. They're re I think it's really cool because the, the thread gradually changes color, and usually I don't like using thread that changes color because it makes the pattern hard to read. But for these ones, it, it's the only thread you're using, so it makes them really pretty. Here we have the soda pop tab bracelets that I made a while ago. Um, I used to save soda pop tabs whenever I could find them. I would, like when I went to parties, I'd take them I'd take them out of the garbage cans and stuff. And um, I would thread ribbon through them. And they make this really cool thing. They sort of look like, I don't know, trendy? But also like minimalistic, but also techy. I don't really know. <laughs> but I thought they were cool and I made them. Next I have this sort of arrowhead family thing. I made a tutorial for how to make these double arrowhead bracelets and it's on my channel, but I also made the single arrowhead bracelet and with like these gradient colors with pink and green. It looks like a watermelon sort of. And then there's this one. This one's really large and I actually detailed this in my thick bracelets video. Here's some bracelets for that I made for a charity that I'm participating in. Um, this is a really important charity that's really close to me, and I'll put a link to the video in the description so you can hear more about it. But these bracelets are like my recycled bracelets, which I'll get to in a minute, but they only have one color. So I use the colors from Leftover Projects, and I use it to make these, which means that they're good for the environment, it's less waste, um, save money, and they look really cool, and you can wear them knowing that you're supporting a great cause. 50% of the funds that I make from selling these bracelets go to this wonderful cause. I'm actually part with the students of Hong Kong International School to provide funding for a secondary school in the Karen Refugee Camp, which is a state in Burma. And um, non-governmental organizations have been taking their resources and they really need money. So, so far, the Hong Kong International School has raised about $6,000 and this is going to be used to provide funding for school supplies and for their education. So I really wanted to help out with this. So I'm making these bracelets and 50% of the proceeds from each of these bracelets are going towards this wonderful cause. So please support the cause, buy a bracelet, and watch the video so you can learn more information about it. Here we have these circle Indian circle bracelets. I actually made a video with this one. It's a little too short though to be a bracelet, so I just sort of ended it here. Maybe it'll be keychain in the future. But this one I made a little longer, and this one I made really long. Actually, no. This one I made for the tutorial, and this one I was just experimenting, and I think I got bored with it, so I don't really know what was going on. But this is a five inch one, and this one's six inches. And um, they're really fun to make. They look sort of hard, but they're really easy, and I have a tutorial which I'll put in the description as well. Alright, these are one of my favorite bracelets to make. These are my recycled bracelets. What I do is I take thread from old projects and I save it if they're longer than like 12 inches or so. And when I make these recycled bracelets, I just take string from that and I just incorporate them into a whole new bracelet. And it's really fun. 
and I feel like I'm like saving the earth or something, um, like I'll just do my little part and it, it doesn't, I feel, I always feel so bad whenever I overshoot thread for a project and I always end up cutting like three feet of it off and I throw so much of it away. So this is a really nice way for me to save it and I can make these wonderful bracelets and they're so pretty. They look like the rag rugs and I've actually made a tutorial on how to make these too because these bracelets are pretty original. Um, I haven't seen any other creator make them. These are available for purchase on my Etsy store if you'd like to purchase them. I have these pride bracelets. So these pride bracelets are really cool. I support LGBT rights and I want people to be proud of who they are and proud of their identity. So I made these bracelets. This is an asexual one, lesbian pride, gender fluid, non-binary, pansexual, aromantic, transgender, and bisexual. And I also have Oh, here's another non-binary one, but it's a slightly different color scheme, but there we go. I really enjoy making these. Um, they're really fun to make, and I really like making them knowing that people can wear them for something that they believe in, something they can stand up, or if they can just wear them just to be supportive of it. You don't have to be LGBT to wear these bracelets. They're, they're really pretty. I mean, um, it's even if you aren't out to your family or your friends yet, it's still a really cute way to wear them, because they don't necessarily know that, say, a pink and red gradient means that you're a lesbian, but you can wear it anyway, and it will look really cool and really pretty. And honestly, I think it's a really cute idea. Okay, here I have this sort of Aztec mess sort of thing going on. Um, I made these series out of, based on different colors that I saw. This one I took the Rick and Morty logo <laughs> and I made it into bracelet form and I used um, two, green, two neon threads, this light yellow and this light green here. And um, <laughs> I, I literally googled Rick and Morty logo and I just took the colors from that. Um, so that's really cool. So show your Rick and Morty pride everyone or if you just want to look really cool. If you're going to a party and there are UV lights there, you are going to light up, I promise. <laughs> Similarly, I have this bracelet. This bracelet's really popular. This is by far my most popular color that has been sold of these series. Um, it's I call it Fire and Ice because it's there are blues and there are orange and yellows and reds, and it's really pretty. Um, so there's that one. There's also these neon ones, which is which are pretty much all neon. Um, they're slightly different. This one has a lighter blue than this one. These ones also glow underneath ultraviolet light, which is really cool. I have this one. I think I call them, like, Lost on a Mountain? Oh, Everest, maybe. I don't know. Hiking on Everest? Something like that. Because the orange, contrasted with the very dark colors, reminds me of, like, you know, the snow suits that people wear, like, when hiking in Antarctica to contrast with the snow and stuff, and it looks really cool. And then I have this yellow and purple thing going on where I just... They look really cool, I think. I have like the diamonds that are sort of centered on yellow, and then I have these arrowheads which are centered on purple. And then I have these ones. These ones I sort of just picked colors randomly, and I was like, what can I make out of this? And I made this, and this is the result. And it's sort of random, but it turned out really nice, I think. And then the slightly more complicated cousins of these. These bracelets are slightly different from these because, see, this one has two- four diamonds here, and this one has two. And also this one has like sort of like a- it doesn't really have a direction, it's both up and down of the arrowheads where this one is strictly going down, but these ones are a slightly more complicated pattern. They also have a couple more strings. These have 20 strings, while these have 24 strings, um, but they're a really cool pattern anyway. And finally, I have all the bracelets that I didn't know what category to put them in, so I'm putting them in the miscellaneous category. So in no particular order, I guess I'll just go through this. So. We have the plaid bracelets, which I made, I think I wanted to create a series with them, but then I just got bored and wanted to make other bracelets, but they look like this. Are there any more? I don't think so. So they're these ones. They sort of look hypnotizing. They look really hard to make. They're not that hard. I probably could make a tutorial on it if you guys really wanted me to. Um, also, I made the loop really small on this one, so oops. <laughs> but also this one takes a lot of thread because you need like 12 threads of yellow, like 14 threads of black. And it's just, it's too much for me. I like to have a variety in my colors. These are my Harry Potter bracelets. I made a Slytherin Alpha bracelet a while ago. And then I made these bracelets. These were the ones that I made for my Harry Potter YouTube tutorial. I really like how they turned out. I came up with the design myself. And, um, yeah, they're really easy to make. They're really fun. And I'll put the description down below. Next we have these sort of monochromatic bracelets. They're sort of Aztec, like a, an Aztec or Mayan or 
Brazilian pattern, however you want to call it, but they look really cool, and the fact that they're monochromatic just sort of, there's like, there's slight variation, but not really, and I just took this, like, this is sort of like a freestyle, like, I, I think I made the blue one first, and I'm like, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna do whatever feels cool, and so I did it, and then I just based the rest of them off of this one. Next, I have this chili pepper bracelet, which I think was really cute. It's sort of annoying to make because generally I don't like reading patterns, especially when I can memorize them. This one was really hard to memorize, so I had to reference the pattern for each and every single one of it. I usually memorize it by the end, but this one I couldn't. And anyway, I taught you guys how to read a pattern in my video, and I used this bracelet as an example. So I'll put a link to that in the description below. Next, I have this rainbow twist bracelet. Yay, gay pride. <laughs> it's really cool. I've also sold like six or seven of these, but I love how this thing twists and it's so fun to make and it seems like it's over before you know it. Um, but this one's really cool. This is one of my favorites I've made. Another one of my favorites is this quilt starburst thing that I've made. Um, it's really pretty. I like how the piece in the beginning, um, it sort of tapers and also at the end. Um, the one thing that I don't like about it though is you need like seven strands of one color, like see this background color here, it's white, you need a lot of that, and you can't really do colors that you have a lot of, I mean you, you can't do like bright colors because you need this to be the background, and then the bright colors are in the middle, so you need a lot of string for this one, I think it's 34 strings I want to say, which is a lot, so... Also, I have people ask me to do tutorials on this one, and I'm like, I could do a tutorial, but it would take me about half an hour, and I don't know, it would take a half an hour, like, the video would be half an hour, I mean, I'd be nodding for, like, three or four hours, and that's just the nodding, that's not even including the editing, so it would be a while, but if you guys really want me to do it, I'll do it for you guys. Next, I have this really pretty dovetail bracelet that I made, it looks like this dovetail bracelet that I'm wearing right now, I made a, one for me and one for my best friend, um, and people saw it and they're like, that's so cool, you should make a tutorial. So I made a tutorial for this one. I've been wearing this one for about nine months at this point. And this is a slightly smaller version I made. The strings were thinner, and there's a slightly different color combination, but I also made a tutorial for this one. Next I have the DNA bracelet, which is the very first tutorial that I made on my channel. If you go to my ch channel and then you scroll all the way down, um, <laughs> I taught you guys how to do this. And this was not good. This was before I'd sorted out all the kinks of uploading, so the video quality is absolutely terrible. And I was so nervous when filming it <laughs> because I didn't want to say the wrong thing and I didn't want to make editing too hard for myself, so I was like constantly correcting myself. And I remember it was like in the middle of the summer and I was really hot in my room, but I didn't want to turn the fan on because it would make noise and it was just a whole big thing. <laughs> so you guys are welcome to watch that. Um, it would be definitely cool to see how I've grown, even in the just it's been less than a year that I've been making videos, but still, I, I think I've grown a lot. But yeah, comment down below if you watch this and let me know what you think of it versus my more recent videos. This is a bracelet that I was... I didn't wasn't working on a series at the time, so I just googled random things, and for this one I googled the Instagram logo. I was like, that would be really cool if I could make a bracelet based on, like, a logo. Like, Facebook and Twitter are just blue and white, so... I figured blue and white. I mean, that's cool, but it's not really too interesting. I'm like, Instagram is a really pretty logo. I'll just make an Instagram bracelet. So I made an Instagram bracelet, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I don't know how I would go about selling it, because it's not really part of, like, a set. Like, Etsy charges 20 cents per listing, and so the more listings you have, obviously, the more money. So it's easier if you group the bracelets, but I really have nothing to group this with, because there's nothing else like it. <laughs> Along with this, I have a couple other bracelets that are miscellaneous. This one I made, I don't know what I was thinking, it was supposed to be a Halloween bracelet, but I put too much green and not enough orange, and now it just looks like a secondary color wheel <laughs> with black. This one I was inspired, what was I inspired by? I was inspired, nothing inspired me. I just took all the blues and blacks and grays and I was like, I'll make a cool bracelet. This one I was inspired by the beach, I think I, um, I went to the beach, so I made this one over summer vacation, and it was like, I wanted to create the sand, but also wanted to create a hint of the waves, but not too much, so they had these little blue dots in the center, and it's really pretty, and I did it without a pattern, without planning anything out, and it came out perfectly on the first try, which was really nice. So these are about the third of the bracelets that I've showed you. I haven't even showed you all the ones that I've made, I'm just showing you the ones that are um, easiest to show, but if you like these bracelets, most of them are available for purchase in my Etsy shop, some aren't up there yet, but 
they will be soon, I hope. Um, I've also made tutorials for several of the bracelets. Just comment down below, tell me which bracelets you liked, which bra bracelets you didn't like so much, which one was your favorite, and if you want to see any tutorials on them. And make sure to check out my Etsy shop at etsy.com slash shop slash alexinnovations to buy these bracelets, and also visit my website at alexinnovations.weebly.com. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to keep the bracelets coming. See you next time!